Good win, Doug. I think probably almost the best win we've had in the circumstances for the season. What do you put it down to? I mean, you had a lot of young players in. Oh, Richmond did too. I think there was a good a good blend in both sides, really, between... I, I was thinking after the game, if we'd really played our probably our full side from Saturday, we mightn't have got the same sort of result. You need, in these circumstances, blokes who think they've got a bit of a chance. Um, the players, our, our better players probably tonight, were amongst the young brigade. Uh, Burke and Cooker Mealis and Glasscott and Hocking, those sorts of players, I thought, acquitted themselves very well. And better still, when the game really got close and, and difficult in the finish, they were the players who were making the best of the contribution. And you must have been very happy that you had Wayne Harms on the interchange and you brought him into the yes. sides. Well, we lost a couple before. Uh, Wayne Johnson got the flu and couldn't play, and Sharp had to pull out. And so we were able to play. We weren't actually going to play Wayne. He had a bit of a sore leg from Saturday. And uh, I, I thought he got cut about a bit early um, but uh, by Smith. But then uh, when the chips were really down, Wayne, one of those efforts to get back on the ball five or six times on the back end of the square, he just kept his nose over it and he kept after it in, in, in that, only the fashion that they call him Hurricane here and I think that's a pretty apt description of it. Hocking was giving away a lot of inches in the ruck against Big Mark Lee and you must have been very happy with his form. His Hocking did extremely well here in the previous night game, if you remember. He has an enormous leap. Uh, he's only six foot two or three, but he really can jump up. And I didn't think we lost anything from the centre bounces. I think we probably squared the card, which for a fellow of that size against probably one of the better ruckmen was good. How, how old is he, David? Has he got a future? Uh, yeah, I think Hock has. Hock's probably 22. He's been around here for quite some time. It's uh, not having the confidence in playing. I think a lot of players this year, I think we've played 34 or 35 now in 10 games. And uh, a lot of them, just by showing some confidence in them, have uh, been able to do the job. And I think we've got to do more of that, even, even as the season goes on, play more of the young players. Well, you've certainly done a, cha a change around with Mark McClure. Now, he again in the full back line played very well. Mark's great as such a bit as he does, he always works hard, whether it's centre half forward, full forward, centre half back or full back, he always really does have a go. And I thought uh, he gave a few inches away tonight and Rates did take a couple of marks, but on the whole I thought McClure was one of our better players. Yes, well I certainly agree with you and so did all the boys up in the commentary box. It was a great game. Congratulations David on the win. Oh, we're, and, we're uh, very pleased to win Doug, really. I, I've got... Had, we've uh, been associated with clubs that had reasonable records in the night games and uh, I'm, I'm very keen to continue on now. I think that puts us into the, uh, into the big one. The winner of Collingwood and Hawthorne you play now. Right. Okay. Thanks very much, David. Back to you, Peter, Lou and uh, Bob.